Hi everyone. Today I decided to record this video very quickly for two things. One is that I'm very strongly feeling that the masculine energies are being transmuted very strongly. Main indicator also is that uh, Sadhguru got admitted in the hospital. I consider him as one of the uh, major, major archetypes of the masculine energy. Uh, he was hospitalized and all those who are very much aware of how the transmutation of the energy works. Somewhere I feel that it is kind of a sign that comes or that came rather to me that, okay, there is something definitely happening with the masculine collective. And most of the masculine collective is transmuting a lot of uh, feminine toxicity related energy. This is what I have been getting. For last three days, I was coming up with different types of memories, not from my perspective, but from my twin flame's perspective, that in certain situations in his life, he was facing a lot of feminine toxicity in his life, either coming from his spouse or even rather coming from me, because there were some junctures. I was annoyed. I was angry. Uh, even when I was not talking to him, I was projecting some sort of uh, anger or annoyance or expectations on him. And somehow, suddenly, all those uh, memories or, uh, in other words, some sort of realization or some sort of click started coming very strongly to me in the last two, three days. And somewhere I started understanding that whatever realization I'm having, it is coming from his perspective. What? sort of scenarios he went through what sort of uh, pain he went through probably it is actually representing the masculine collective like what sort of energy the masculine is processing right now i think that message came to me in that way that i started realizing what my twin flame went through what sort of energies he was processing um, or probably i am still processing those energies what he went through because it is coming up into my conscious awareness. So many of you must be going through this period right now. And if you are, please confirm in uh, the comment section of this video that in last two to three days, um, are you um, having any sort of a weird experience, especially in the right side of your body, because the right side represents the masculine. I was having the ear block. Uh, my right ear was blocking again and again. Uh, my right side of my head is paining or my shoulder, right side shoulder is paining. Something that happens to your right side uh, represents the masculine. And um, it would be the indicator that some sort of a, a masculine transmutation is happening. So that is the first thing I wanted to share. Just yesterday or day before yesterday, somebody sent me a video where uh, somebody was talking about uh, delaying the journey and uh, it was being discussed that uh, if you do this, then you will delay your journey. If you do that, then you will delay your journey. And somewhere I feel very important to put this forward that if you are navigating your journey from this thought process that I should not do this because it will delay my journey, this whole thought itself is coming from your ego mind. Your ego is trying to rationalize the whole scenario that I should not do this, I should do this. And if you really go to the root of your thought, it is coming from a certain belief system. Uh, somebody was saying that, oh, you should not engage in a sexual energy of your twin flame. It delays your journey. Many people hold this belief system. So it is a belief system and you are kind of trying to cling on to that belief system and making some sort of a rule. Always remember that if you are tending to make any sort of a rule in this journey, that if uh, you should not do this, the whole word, it's a very alarming kind of a term, should and shouldn't. These two terms come from your ego mind, which is kind of instructing you or trying to rationalize you, trying to put you in some sort of a box that you should do this or you should not do this. When you are starting to operate from this perspective should and shouldn't always know that you are operating from your ego mind. Another very important point when it comes to delaying your journey, you have to be very cautious and very aware that twin flame journey is not about delay 
or non delay i mean this whole concept of delay and non delay is also coming from this limited thought process that also again comes from your ego mind and you are trying to put everything in a linear timeline you know we have this physical timeline 60 seconds make 1 minute and 1 minute makes 1 hour so our whole processing is completely operating from that perspective so i am already 40 years old when our union will happen so everything whatever we are calculating in our head is coming from that limited thinking of the physical linear timeline and this whole uh, thought or this whole perspective that if i do this then i will delay my journey is also coming from that same thought process so firstly you definitely need to release this whole thought process there is nothing like delay or non delay in this journey you are on a spiritual journey energetically dynamic journey one shift or one click in your awareness can completely shift you into a different frequency and a different timeline altogether so are you understanding why this whole thought process of delay and non delay you should not be holding in your heart and another thing is the till the moment you are holding this awareness that i don't want to delay my journey i want to rush you are already stuck in the loop you are already putting yourself in some glass ceiling uh, under a glass ceiling or some box uh, unless you break through out of that box your progress further in the journey is not possible so please please don't make such rules don't start operating from this fear consciousness that if i do this then i am going to delay my journey release this thought process because this is not a vibration we are uh, here to be in if you are uh, wanting to be in the vibration of union this is something you really need to release immediately don't get into the thought of delay or non delay it's not about how fast or how slow your union is going to happen coming to the sexual energy somebody was saying in their video that uh, you should not indulge in the sexual energy again when you are saying should not it's not your conscious choice that you are indulging in a sexual energy uh, sexual interaction astrally or physically will happen when it is supposed to happen as a divine intervention if you are in the process of surrender then there is no question of should or should not if you are with the flow and if it happens it happens you are in the state of surrender and if it is not supposed to happen it will not happen so it's not about your conscious choice of control that you would decide that i don't want to delay my journey and that is why i want to decide that i don't want to indulge in the sexual energy that's it you are stuck in the glass ceiling you are not in the natural flow of your Uh, life or your spiritual progress or in this journey so i hope everybody is getting this point and i thought i must put this point forward because a lot of people are getting caught in this whole confusion so hope this particular video helps you see you sometime in the next video namaste